Hi everyone. Today, we would like to present our assignment about business policy and strategic management that have been implemented in a large company and small medium enterprise. The large company chosen is Dutch Lady Milk Dasi Pahat, while the SME chosen is Tapuai Brands at Tanjung Malim. Firstly, let's start with a large company. Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad was established in Petaling Jaya, Malaysia on 1963. This company engaged through manufacturing and distributing a range of dairy product segment and fruit juice drinks. The vision of Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad is to further strength in their position as the leading dairy company driving growth. The statement was short and in one sentence. Through it, we know that this company wants to be a leading company in dairy products. Then, Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad's mission is to help Malaysian move forward in life with trusted dairy nutrition. They want to provide a sufficient dairy with nutrition to the Malaysian. Next, Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad apply an intensive strategy for their products. They use product development strategy which can increase sales by improving and modifying present products. In addition, they also make three strategic initiatives which are balanced nutrition, the environment and social responsibility and dairy self-sufficiency. Not only that, we also did SWOT analysis for Dutch Lady Make Industry Berhad. Based on SWOT metric, strategy for strength opportunities are Dutch Lady Meat Industry can expand and open their product to the market and also produce variety quality of the products. Strategy for weaknesses opportunities is Dutch Lady Meat Industry Berhad can make more promotions about their products, especially for the new products. Strategy for strength third are Dutch Lady Mink Industry Berhad can make a market research about customer needs and they also can make more advertisement to promote their products. Strategy for weaknesses threat is same as weaknesses opportunity strategy. Dutch Lady Mink Industry Berhad can make more promotion about their products. As for the conclusion, the strategies and policies that implement by Dutch Lady Milk on the Sibahad may affect the performance in achieving the vision and mission of the company. Now we are going to our small medium enterprise which is Tapwe Brands Tanjo Malim. Tapwe Brands Tanjo Malim is located at Tama University Tanjo Malim. They was established three years ago. They are two owners of this party who are Puan Raj Aida Muna and Siti No Shamsia. Vision statement of Tapwe Brands is to be the premier global direct seller of premium innovative products. From the one sentences, we can see that Tapwe want to be a leading company direct seller of premium product. This company want to be a company that produce innovative products. The mission of Tapwe Brands is we are passionate about changing life especially for women by enlightening, educating and empowering. This mission statement we came from the product I have produced by Tapwe can help women in changing their life. Tapwe brands use market penetration strategy and product development strategy. For market penetration strategy, this company did not sell plastic bottle only, but also they have their own medicine and skincare product. We are carried out with SWOT analysis. Based on SWOT metrics, strategy for strength opportunities are Tapwe brands produce a variety product that use in daily day and make a promotion in the international. Strategy for weaknesses opportunities are make Tapwe a franchise business and create a new product with quality but affordable to buy. Strategy for strength trade is Tapway Brands Tanjo Malim can increase and make variety promotion to the customer. Strategies for weaknesses threat is Tapway Brands Tanjo Malim must choosing the strategic location of their business. In conclusion, 
Tetapi Brent Tanjung Malim must know the internal factors and external factors that may affect their business. They should implementing the strategies like SWOT metric to achieve their sales target and to introduce their product to people.